Hello friends, today we will look into a very beautiful ornamental indoor plant, the Peace Lily, which is a NASA recommended air purifying plant. We will look into the care tips, the common mistakes we tend to do while caring Peace Lily and also how to propagate Peace Lily. Coming up. If you are a hobby gardener or you have interest in growing plants in your home garden, please consider subscribing to this channel with the notification bell icon clicked so that you receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. Spat or peace lily or the closet plant with botanical name as Spathiphyllum is a beautiful indoor air purifying plant as recommended by the NASA. They are evergreen perennials with large leaves and unique flowers which are produced in spadix. Spadix means a spike having small flowers on a fleshy stem. This spadix is surrounded by a spath which is a curved white bract or hood which covers the spadix. When it comes to indoor plants, peace lily plants are some of the easiest to care for. But while peace lily plants are easy to care, proper growing conditions are still important. Let's take a look at the care of peace lilies. The first factor is sunlight. Peace lily prefers medium to low sunlight that's indirect sunlight and can be kept in shady places. Again peace lilies that are kept in more light tend to produce more and more healthy flowers and in low light it will bloom less and look more like a traditional foliage plant. So okay, keeping in this mind you can keep them indoors in a spot which receives adequate indirect bright light. Do not keep them in direct sunlight, they are going to die. Then the second factor is watering. This point is very important for peace lily care and the most important uh, factor and the most common mystic gardeners tend to do is overwater the peace lily. Peace lilies are far more tolerant of underwatering than overwatering, which is one of the most common reasons for a peace lily plant to die. So what you can do is check once in three days and dip a finger into the soil and check for moisture. And if the soil is still damp, never water it again. Check again after one or two days and then water the container. Also one more tip on watering is some people also wait until the peace lily uh, starts to droop down before watering their plants. As these plants are very drought tolerant this method does not harm the plant and will prevent overwatering. Then coming to the soil requirement, soil at any cost has to be well draining soil. If you bring your plant from a nursery and you find it uh, uh, planted in a clayrid soil then please remove the clayrid soil by soaking the root ball in a tub of water which dissolves the clayrid soil. Then repot the plant in a larger container in a well draining soil. Please watch my video on the universal potting soil from a link in the description and also from the link at the top right corner of this video. Please complete this video first. Well, now the fertilization requirement you can use NPK 202020 5 to 6 crystals once a month or you can also use decomposed cow dung or horse dung powder. Then coming to the propagation of peace lily, the peace lilies can be grown from seeds and also by dividing the root ball during repotting. And uh, one last bonus tip is to keep it healthy and to ensure proper photosynthesis keep its leaves clean of any dust by spraying water and then mopping the leaves with a soft cloth. So there we have it folks, that was an episode on peace lily care tips and propagation. Please comment below the video and also write on any extra points if I missed here. Also please give a thumbs up to the video if you liked it and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!